My name is uh, Andrew Jeremy. Um, I did three degrees in Manchester actually. My name's Zoe Aiken. I did a degree at Manchester University in Biomedical Sciences. Uh, my name's Erica Lack. I did a zoology degree and my role at the moment is Lead Advisor for Carbon Regulation at Yorkshire Water. Um, and now um, I'm uh, a senior editor for Nature, um, as well as leading scientific journals, and I handle uh, the majority of the microbiology content. For my job now, I'm a clinical scientist in microbiology. My name is Laura Solsky. I'm a software test engineer for Waters Corporation, and I graduated with a degree in anatomical science. So I looked for jobs that had these sorts of elements, science communication, um, without actually the bench work. So since graduating, I spent a year working out what I wanted to do. During that time, I decided I wanted a proper career. So I applied for a number of jobs, research assistant jobs, clinical scientist training, and that's what I did. Um, so it brought together my passion for, for science and luckily for microbiology um, without actually having to get involved with the day-to-day uh, -day work in the lab. I like the mix of being able to do research and having patient involvement as well. I was interested in making a difference and helping the environment. Um, I'm passionate about reducing climate change. Um, my typical day consists of sitting in front of a computer screen reading manuscripts. Um, the difference is that each manuscript is different. One of the reasons that my job is so enjoyable is that um, no day is the same. Um, there are also uh, plenty of conferences um, that I attend around the world. The day consists of running test cases, looking for faults with the software. I, I think I enjoy um, discovering uh, or coming across a really exciting new paper. So you never know when you open up the manuscript what's going to be in it um, and that's very exciting. I like the fact it's challenging, I like learning new things and there's always cake. <laughs> the thing that I enjoy most about it is the people. My degrees here, undergraduate and uh, masters and PhD gave me the kind of subjects knowledge and also the skills to understand other people's work in the essential to my project. The laboratory aspects of my degree helped because it made me it, it, it made me realise I did want a job in a laboratory um, and it made me realise how lovely Manchester is as a city and so I decided to settle here. Uh, although the, the job I'm doing now is not directly related, a lot of the skills I learn as a student are really helpful. I think you should um, use any contacts you've got, so if you know anybody who works in the career you want to work in, contact them. If you don't know people, research them, you've got Google, find out about them and contact them. Be, very, be formal when you contact people, use their titles, be polite. And when you're applying for jobs, make sure you read the, read the questions and really sell yourself. Find something that you're passionate about and interested in and then just go for it. And as a science graduate, don't be afraid to look outside of a lab job. You don't have to just necessarily do that. I loved every second of my university career at Manchester, to be honest. I made lots of uh, lifelong friends while I was here studying in Manchester. And we worked very hard together in the lab, but we'd also uh, go out to the bars after work. And, and that's probably where much of the best science comes from, um, that nice balance of work and social.